Shall we play a game? Oh. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play three sound clips from three speakers, and I'm going to play them in order, A, B, C, A, B, C. And that way, what they'll be doing is they'll be playing five seconds each, back to back, basically, and you'll have the opportunity to compare them. Whichever one's playing, you're going to have an identification on the screen to tell you. Just grab a notepad, write down some of the things you hear. And when I say write down the things you hear, I want to make it clear I am not talking about timbre or tonality differences, because as much as I tried to put these speakers all on the same level playing field by using equalization to match the same in-room target response, and it's within about plus or minus dB for all three of them, there's still gonna be some variance due to each one of them, and especially on the low end when I did not use any bass filtering. What I'm asking you to focus on specifically in this exercise is to focus on the soundstage elements. Imaging, placement, precision, diffusion, soundstage width, soundstage depth even if you feel like you can hear it through these recordings. Now, these are binaural recordings. I sat in the listening position, I had binaural mics in my ears, and I recorded each one of these speakers playing the song. And then I level matched them back to make sure they were even closer in accuracy. So they're within about a dB or so, depending on which frequencies you're looking at. Now again, there are some little deviations here and there, but that's not the point. Do a comparison, A versus B versus C, A versus C, B versus C, A versus B, B versus A. I think I already did that one. Write those in the comments below, write what you hear. Try not to make it long because I'm gonna to have to read through these, I'm gonna to have to call all these together and try to do some analysis on them. Once I've had the opportunity to do that, I'm gonna create the follow-up to this video and we're gonna talk about what you all heard and I'm gonna show you the speaker's performance. You're not gonna win a prize for guessing the speaker. Don't try. If you do guess it, I'm not even gonna acknowledge it. I'm, I'm straight up just not gonna acknowledge it because I don't want you focused on the wrong things here, okay? I know how human nature is. Oh, if I get it right, I'm gonna be like the coolest person in the room. Nobody's gonna care. Um, so please don't be that guy. Help the community by providing your two cents on the differences that you hear between the sound samples. And also note that I am using copyright for your music that I pulled off of YouTube. It's not the greatest sound quality music and I don't really care. This isn't Liza Minnelli live. This isn't Aretha Franklin meets Tina Turner at Las Vegas. This isn't Bach. That's not the point. The music that I have selected though is very diverse in the imaging placement, things like that of the soundstage. So again, focus on those aspects. Once you've had all your time to go through them and feel free to go through them multiple times if you want, Write them down in the comments, and what I ask you to do is just say, speaker A, what you think. You know, it sounds wide versus speaker B or C or whatever, or speaker A sounds narrow versus B or C or whatever. Do that for speaker A, speaker B, speaker C. Just a couple little lines, a couple little words for each one of them, and then I will take all that information and I will put it together. I will use that to help me recreate or create a follow-up video to this one. Oh, and I do suggest you wear some headphones for this, because really without headphones, it's going to be... It's not going to be as good. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't have the greatest quality headphones. These are less than 100 bucks Sony headphones. That's not really the point to get perfect timbral accuracy. Understanding that whatever headphones you're listening to are going to impart their own imbalance or maybe more neutrality than the speakers that I'm playing themselves. That's fine. That's great. But that's not the point. We're listening for soundstage characteristic differences here. And that's what I want you to take your notes on. Cool. So now that you've gotten that, let's go ahead and kick it off with the samples. Thank you. 
Okay, that's it. So just write down speaker A, speaker B, speaker C in the comments below. The differences that you heard in as few words as possible, that would be a great help to me. And I do appreciate it. Trust me, this is going to be a cool little experiment. And I think that we'll all be a little bit wiser from it and help the community understand a little bit more too as we go along. So thank you and I'll see you in the next one.